Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. Today's video, we're discussing Rosemount 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Specifically, we're going to look at shortening the probe after the fact. So as discussed previously, we have a variety of probes to choose from, whether it's the single lead, twin lead, or coaxial probe. Each one of these probes can be shortened or cut after the fact. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there's a couple good reasons. One reason would be, let's say you're unsure of the dimensions of your vessel. Uh, maybe you've lost the drawings of your vessel or the vessel was installed so many years ago that those drawings aren't easily found. And so what the safest thing to do is just order a probe that's longer or taller than your vessel and then cut it once you receive it and you know the actual height of that vessel. Another instance would be is if you have a variety of vessels on site, uh, all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Again, for ordering purposes, for simplicity of stocking, it might be easier to just order the tallest, longest probe as per the tallest application, and then you can have an inventory of these and cut them as you see fit per application. And this is great because you can do this for each one of the probes. The only probe you can't cut would be a PTFE coated probe. And the reason being is if you cut it, well, you're going to expose stainless steel to the process. Most times when you use a PTFE coated probe, it's for material compatibility reasons. Now, each one of these probes has its own instructions for how to cut it. You can see there's a different design for each one, so they have different recommendations for how to appropriately cut it. We're looking at a single lead, very straightforward. You simply mark on the probe where you want to cut it and then cut it. Um, the most important step though is make sure you update your transmitter's configuration so it knows that it is now attached to a shorter probe. Some folks forget that step and can run into some issues if it is not completed. And that's how you shorten probes on Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Should you have any questions about this transmitter or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.